The Berkeley County Sheriff's Office is continuing to ask for help from the community in solving the shooting death of a 23 year old man. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh spoke with the Baum family about the work they are doing to ensure Hunter is remembered. If the person that did it is still in town, I want them to see Hunter's face every day. Family and close friends to 23 year old Hunter Baum say they hope their actions will help move his case in the right direction. We put signs out today and banners asking for the community to help. If they've heard anything, if they have seen anything, if they saw his suburban. The banners and signs are placed along Nexton Parkway, where Baum was shot back in August. He was unarmed. He didn't have a weapon. He was driving down the street. Um, he was just going home. Baum was taken to the hospital where he fought for days before passing away. His dad and I and his brothers all know Hunter and how very strong willed he is. And he proved that to everyone in the hospital that he fought for seven days. The Berkeley County Sheriff's Office is currently investigating this as a homicide. The family calls it nothing but senseless. We're living proof of every parent's worst nightmare of getting that call in the middle of the night. Um, it's something I never would have thought I'd had to go through. The bombs say they do not plan on giving up on the fight for Hunter as an ode to the determined person he was and the family he belonged to. A lot of families don't go through this extent trying to find out what happened to their loved one. You know, they'll, they'll let the police handle it and then go from there. We're not that kind of family. We're very close knit. They say they want to continue keeping his memory alive at any cost. A young man full of life, but taken too soon. He deserved to have his whole life. We deserve to have that life with him. Reporting in Somerville, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Life 5 News. Well, if you know anything about this case, you are encouraged to contact the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers, and you can submit an anonymous tip to either of those.